The Kortag Indians of the Algonquins uh, lived here on the North Fork uh, as well as up and down the eastern Long Island. And this is an area that they would come to to seek refuge in the case of any sort of raiding parties from the Connecticut, mainly from the Pequots. And it's an area that mostly they would just be processing shellfish. They would use the waterways to uh, collect wampum that was then traded with the Dutch. The Korchugs in 1657 uh, or 8 met with uh, Wyandanche because the English finally wanted to ask who had control over the North Fork. So Wyandanche said that his family owned control and he wanted to um, give the English uh, the North Fork as an uh, exchange um, just to appease them mostly. Many things happened to the people who once existed here. Uh, some of them absorbed into uh, the Shinnecock or Montaukett or Puspatuck tribes. Some of them um, may have gone to Wisconsin with the uh, Reverend Samson Oakham. Some may have been indentured into local households, and others may have been sold into slavery in the Caribbean islands. Uh, so there's many different uh, descendants still remaining, but um, we try to say that they never became extinct. They just had different um, lineages and histories following that time.